Hi, this is Winnie with Nexo Board Games, and today we're going to unbox Waffle Time, a game by Maxime Demier and published by AEG Games. So let's see, this game I got in the, if you watch the unboxing of the mystery box, this was part of the mystery box, and I don't think that this is widely published yet. So I'm excited to see what's inside, and I have to admit, uh, when I first unboxed this and saw this, we ended up going to waffles for dinner because we were like, oh, waffles sound good. <laughs> so let's see what's inside. Okay. So if you notice, the, all the edges are kind of decorated. It's like a, kind of like a picnic type table thing or a waffle design. So the instructions don't look super complex, right? I don't expect this to be a really complex game. One to four players. So I expect these to be the player boards. So waffles. Okay, so they're single sided. Looks like red, yellow, purple, green, or green, purple, depending upon which way you're reading that. So that's fun. Okay, cute little player boards. Then, I'm not sure what this is, but it's like some sort of a, oh, a draft board. Okay, like a little timer for your waffles. That's adorable. So draft board. Then we've got all kinds of all kinds of stuff. So we got like toppings like whipped cream and cherries, strawberries, bananas, blueberries, obviously butter, and some maybe some scoring or round mechanisms. I'm not exactly sure. And then more tokens, more more things you can put on your waffles, bananas, blueberries, blackberries, cherries, strawberries, all kinds of fruits. Oh, and then obviously whipped cream, bunch of whipped cream. So these are actually really cute. Uh, I should poke a few of these out because they're all individually shaped. So let me show you. I wasn't really thinking about it until I saw the whipped cream, but they're really all unique. Uh, I think that's most all of them. So every one of these has a unique shape. Which is kind of nice instead of them just all being like a circle with the fruit in them. They're actually unique. So that's kind of easy. It makes them easier to identify too. Especially when you get two things that are similar colors for anybody who has a color blindness uh, in your player group. So there's that. And a whole bunch of whipped cream. Uh, yeah, player tokens. So these are going to get going to match the player board colors that I've got. So those are going to probably be like scoring tokens or maybe they go on the draft board. I'm not exactly sure. And then some bags, some tokens. Ooh, I wonder what this is supposed to be. Oh, syrup! That makes total sense. It's gonna be your syrup. Okay, I'm gonna guess. I could be wrong, but that seems really logical. So that's what those look like. They're like little maple tokens. Um, and they're thin and mostly flat, a little bit of a curve on one side. So they'll obviously sit down on one side and the other side will be tiny and curved. Those are really cute. It was like a perfect little color. Let's see what that looks like. Oh yeah, so it fits perfectly. And then some of these other things, right? Cute, okay. And then a, um, a scorecard for the end of the game to make sure you get all the different things, that's kind of fun. And then some different cards. Let's see what's in here. Ooh, that's tight. So, let's see here. So some of these, okay, I don't know what that was about. So some of these have um, like the little carafe for the maple syrup symbol. And they all look, it's all empty. I don't know if that matters, but then there's a bunch of different places of fruit and stuff. And I'm gonna guess that these are like um, individual goals where if you set up your waffle to look like this, you might get VPs. That's what I'm going to guess because they're all like a little bit different, but they have kind of the same numbers of like the whipped cream and then they have the different fruits at the bottom. So these probably get you like extra little VPs. And then here's like a little scoring cheat sheet, I think. It shows like what some VPs, what would get you VPs probably at the end. I think it's the same on both sides. Yeah. And then there's a whole bunch of cards. Oh, wait, we've got butter. Oh, we've got cards with all kinds of different stuff on the back. It looks like these butter are your goal cards. So the, apparently these are goal cards, individual goal cards, and these syrup ones. And then there's also 15 fruit pattern cards. So there's some of each of the different types of fruit. 
And then there's examples of different patterns. I'm going to guess you're supposed to try to match with your little waffle board. So all different kinds of stuff. So some looks like maybe you can use anything there. So like here you could use like a blackberry, a cherry, a blueberry, a strawberry in between two bananas and then different things like that. So, okay. So those are different goal cards. Nothing underneath. So that's everything that's in Waffle Time. It's kind of a smaller game. We've got some really adorable player cards, like little player boards, which actually look like uh, Belgian waffles. And then we've got all kinds of different fruit tokens. There's like five different types of fruit plus whipped cream. I got a bunch of different tokens. Each of them are unique, which is neat. Um, I love the syrup tokens. Those are great. And there's several different types of cards and a couple of player pawns uh, that match the waffles to, but I don't know what they do. What do the player pawns do? Ah, okay. Player pawns that match your waffle board that you use to track the drafting board. So this is where so different resources and stuff are going to be as well. So there's all different kinds of stuff in here. I suspect it's not like a super challenging game, but I think it'll be really fun and I'm super excited to actually play it and see how it works. Thanks for watching Next Level Board Games.